There's an official revelation, and it's been passed down generation to generation. But someone wrote it on paper. And reading with comprehension isn't what it used to be. But there's another revelation. One where we're told that the heavens are telling the glory of God, or that the firmament proclaims His handiwork. The creation gives clues to life's common descent. It shows us how we creatures are fitted to our environments. Dear Defy Gravity, Humans can balance and leap and fly. And dance artistically. Nature tinkers with improving the various ways to catch food. And breathtaking diversity arises. But for all the beauty, nature reminds us it isn't magic. that's the trick with Revelation. Sharing good news that happens also to be true still requires careful comprehension skills. And the better you learn the lessons, like how tides work, the more likely it is you'll not be carried out to sea or trapped in a mud flat. The alert can learn to find food. Or they can even coax misplaced trees to explain about pending subduction zone earthquakes. Language makes it possible for us to pool our skills in community. Like I say to my friends, between the three of us, we have an IQ of at least 120. My first visit here, I was alone and naive. The bay emptied out, and I barely made it to ground firm enough to pitch a tent. And when the tide returned, it chased me back into the bay before daybreak, and there the waves were so high, and the wind so strong, I was not sure I would make it home. But this time, the bay feeds me. A patch of trees shelter me. I harvest berries for dessert. This must be heaven. I take a moment to shoot metaphorical pictures, and eventually we return to the city. It's a campground, just with more people. Hey friends, it's good to connect with you here for our weekly minute and just a few announcements uh, that I wanted to share. Uh, coming up this Wednesday is our Wednesday Symposium, our Fellowship Symposium, and where we are going to be answering the question, how do we serve during this time of quarantine? How are we connecting with one another, even though that we're physically have to keep our distance? 
Um, how are we marrying together our ideas of service and our actions? And how can we come up with some good ideas maybe? And that's gonna be our time of discussion there on our Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. start time symposium. All right, secondly, we have a another event uh, coming up this Thursday is the National Day of Prayer. And starting at 11.30 a.m. to around noon, we're gonna be taking part of um, a prayer time where we're gonna be lifting up the needs of our uh, local community, our city, our state, uh, our nation and the globe, uh, global concerns uh, regarding the coronavirus and regarding also other needs that may be uh, on our hearts and uh, that we're able to address and, and lift up during this time. So looking forward to that time. Again, that's, at, that's going to be this Thursday starting at 11.30 a.m. to around noon. There will be a Zoom uh, invitation for that for you to click on and to participate in. Um, also, uh, the, coming up this this Sunday is Mother's Day. It's I know it's a Hallmark um, uh, holiday, but we wanted to acknowledge that here with uh, Reedwood. And the way that we're gonna acknowledge that is um, if you can uh, just give a pearl of wisdom or a brief memory of uh, that your mother or a mother figure or a strong woman has given you in your life that has benefited you and that comes to mind, um, share that thought and put it on a video where much like how I'm doing this video right now through my phone, uh, create just a, a, a brief video and then go ahead and email me that video at markcondo77 at gmail.com or you can text it to me through my phone uh, at 503-278-6055. But uh, what I want to do is I want to compile all of those videos of memories of what uh, people's uh, people have uh, learned and gained from mothers and put that into our uh, Sunday production that we have weekly. And that's just a time and a place where we can share about how uh, we have been shaped and formed by our mothers, our mother figures, and strong women in our lives. We'll also be uh, securing some time for this during our open worship uh, time on Sunday that starts at 11.15 a.m. and goes to about noon. We'll make sure that we secure about 10 or 15 minutes from that of that time to answer the question, how has uh, how have mothers shaped our lives and influenced us? So even if you don't make a video, there will be there's an opportunity to share uh, uh, during that time. Thank you for your support, for tuning in, and we will be uh, in touch and hopefully seeing one another soon. Take care. God bless.